I don't know. Do you want some? Yum. We're going to make some pumpkin seasonal things here. We're going to do some waffles and some orange syrup. I'm excited. <laughs> look weird and yeah. exciting. Yeah, I figured we would do um, a few recipes uh, and start doing a Monday vlog. I was going to call it Monday measurements. How does that sound? Monday measures? Like maybe? Like baking measurements? Yeah, Monday measures. How does that sound? <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. It's Sounds kinda good. weird lighting in here. <laughs> you know, now that it's getting dark outside, we're turning on all the lights and so we're not so happy with the lighting situation in here. <laughs> I don't know, you look huh. over here. So we'll get it going and then we'll talk about some some of the things that we're doing with our diet and and yeah and be an extra vlog uh, okay <laughs> so here's my little makeshift recipe hanger here <laughs> I got a magnet that I stick to it my other magnet I had this little cute yellow guy but the magnet fell out of him I gotta glue it back in there but it's my favorite thing but this is it's pumpkin waffles with orange syrup I don't have a heart waffle maker. Those are cute. But, um, yeah, we're going to do the pumpkin waffles with the orange syrup. So I got everything set out here to make the syrup. There's one cup of orange juice. And we're going to need two tablespoons of honey. And a teaspoon and a half of cornstarch. Or wait, two. Two and a half. Yeah, two and a half teaspoons of cornstarch and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. We'll get that in the pan and we'll boil it up. The waffles we're gonna need two cups of flour I'm doing the gluten-free stuff so I got the gluten-free so two cups of flour two tablespoons of brown sugar I got my brown sugar here so of course this is not a sugar-free recipe which I'm trying to do but it doesn't have much um, I'm trying to do paleo so I've got the honey in the syrup which is good uh, a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of the pumpkin pie spice and one and a half cups of fat-free milk but we didn't have fat-free that's close enough <laughs> and then a cup of pumpkin um, and two eggs so I gotta go get my eggs and two tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm going to use coconut oil. And um, the dry ingredients go in one bowl and the wet ingredients go in another bowl. And we'll get that going.
gluten-free flour. There's a trick to this. Um, I always let it set for 5 to 10 minutes, sometimes 15, because the gluten-free flours don't soak in the um, moisture, you know, from all your wet ingredients as quick as regular flour does. So let it sit, and you'll like the results a whole lot better. fun part. These are 173 calories, but that's for 10 waffles. And I used whole milk instead of fat-free milk. So I had to add 90 extra calories to the whole recipe for the 10 waffles. And I'm going to be making five because I'm using a Belgian waffle maker. So... I had to add all 10 together plus the extra 90 calories and then divide it by five and they came up to 364 calories each. And that's a good dinner for us. You know, it's under 400 calories. Hey, welcome everybody. Welcome to Monday Measures. <laughs> and this is the first vlog that we're gonna do of many <laughs> because it's a slow journey to try to lose weight. And, um, you know, a lot of people try to do it fast. I mean, you can do it fast, but, you know, they always say that people are going to relapse. So, and, you know, I've been, oh gosh, for how many years now? Probably about 10 years. I've been up and down, up and down, up and down. But, you know, I've reached middle age. So, you know, that's when most of the problems come in. But, you know, it's not just me. I'm the one that buys the food in the house. So... You know, when whenever I gain weight, I've got two young girls, you know, they were high school age when, you know, they started gaining weight and they would gain weight with me and they'd lose weight with me. You know, it's, it's all change in diet. So I'm going to talk a lot about Noom probably. I'm not sponsoring Noom, but it's just an easy app. Uh, I'm not sure how much they charge, but I did notice that they try to get you to do a eight month and I suggest do the year if you really want to be committed because um, the eight month program is a lot more than paying for the year. If you pay for the whole year up front, it's a whole lot cheaper. Um, it's more like an app price, you know, instead of a if you pay monthly, I think it's like 60 bucks. It's horrible, horrific. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> but, um, you know, and there's a lot of free apps out there. What we're doing is we're just calorie counting. Uh, I like the Noom because it taught me a lot more. I thought I knew a lot about food because I've been really health conscious. My kids, when they were little, I used to hide things in their, like their spaghetti sauce. I would grind up um, spinach and kale and um, zucchini and carrots. I would I would put it all in the food processor in the spaghetti sauce and you know pizza sauce and everything else that I made at home and they ate it. It was good, <laughs> you know. They didn't know the difference. So you know they ate a lot of vegetables and they eat good. They've you know never had an issue turning down food. They've always eaten whatever I put in front of them. So <laughs> eat your vegetables. <laughs> but yeah, if you don't know us, we're Alaskan Bears Vlogs. And I'm Mama Bear, Sherry. And then there's Mary Bear. She's my youngest. And then there's Heather Bear. <laughs> and she's just a little bit older than my youngest, a couple of years. But um, 
you know, if you've watched our vlogs, you know, welcome to the new series. And if you're here just for the diet stuff, you know, ask us questions. We'll tell you. And uh, you'll probably see Mary on here because she's doing this journey with me. We've been weighing in every week. And um, when I first started Noom, I was the heaviest that I had ever been. Um, I was... Always, when I was young, 115 pounds. I was a little chunky in junior high, but I was anorexic in high school and and a little bit later. I mean, I, I five foot ten and 115 pounds. My normal weight was between 130, 135 when I was in my 20s, and I got up to 235 pounds, and I had already lost 20 pounds, but that's where I ended up with issues. I'd lose 20 pounds and then it seemed like it would get hard and I would stop. Um, so I was 20 pounds down when I started the Noom and then I started it and they gave me a timeline and I actually reached a goal weight by that timeline and then you can change your goals as you go you know, through it. And it'll tell you how many calories a day that you should be doing and your foods. Um, they have green foods, yellow foods, and red foods. And none of your foods are bad. That's that's the one thing that Noom stresses is a lot of people, you know, they restrict their foods and then, you know, it becomes hard because you want your foods. I mean, if you want a brownie, go ahead and have a brownie, but be accountable for it because it's going to be a red food and you're only allowed so many calories. Like, um, you know, for Halloween, we brought home cupcakes. And in the beginning of this, I showed the Japanese bakery because that's one of our favorite places. We love to go to the Japanese bakery. And a lot of those foods are actually on the app, the Noom app. Um, so we can account for the calories. And you know, it's surprisingly, the Japanese bakery, they're, they're gluten-free and the, the sweets, they're yellow foods. They're not like red foods like a lot of your other treats. So, so they're not so bad for you. And um, I, you know, <laughs> we have to treat ourselves once in a while. <laughs> so, you know, go ahead and have your treat, but yeah, be accountable for it. Um, so when we started this a couple weeks ago, uh, I was back up. I had gained 35 pounds in a month and a half. You know, I got really depressed, um, because money was getting tighter with, I had been out of work, um, for a total of seven months, but you know, I didn't know how I was going to make my mortgage. And I thought I'd have to find another job. And I've been at my job for 14 years. So, so we, you know, we were in a bind and I got depressed and I started buying junk. You know, um, we started going out to eat again. I, I very, very rarely ever eat McDonald's. And I think we got it like four times during that month and a half. And, and then um, they opened up a Sonic here in town. And that was like the crazy thing to do, you know, everybody's going to Sonic because it was something new in town and I'd never been. So we went there and it just, you know, you think that your fast food is easy, but for the time you sit in line and, you know, everything else, you could have prepared a good meal at home with your vegetables. And even if you go to fast food, there's good options. I mean, you can go to Wendy's or McDonald's and get really good, nice salads. Um, you know, at, my theory is I don't know what the heck they're putting in that stuff, the preservatives and whatnot. So, so we do what we call clean eating. I, everybody uh, thinks of clean eating as a diff, different thing. Um, they've all got their own opinions, but... Uh, we try to stay as much organic as we can, um, grass-fed meats. Uh, I try to stay away from red meat as much as possible, uh, dairy as much as possible. 
Um, no gluten at all. Um, the gluten really gets to me. And, um, you know, no white rice, no white sugars. The, the more processed, the worse. So um, we use gluten-free flours, brown rice because it's so much more nutritious. Um, but you got to get good brown rice because brown rice uh, has high arsenic in it. Um, you know, you just got to study kind of what you're eating. Uh, I've mentioned before, if you looked at some of my past videos, uh, Flay of City is a real good one. If you want to get really into uh, what's on your labels and in your foods, Flay of City is a good place to go. But um, yeah, so when I started, um, well, I stopped logging at 166 pounds. And then I lost a few pounds after that. I got down to 160 this last time. And then I took a big jump and I got up. Do you remember what my weight was? Mary standing over here <laughs> in an owl costume because it's, it's Halloween when we're recording this. But <laughs> There's Mary. But um, I think it was 195. Yeah, it was around that. Yeah, 195 something. But the first week of doing the clean eating, I lost six pounds in one week. That's inflammation. Inflammation from, you know, all the processed foods and the gluten. You know, um, generally I lose anywhere from a half a pound to two pounds a week when I'm eating well, you know, and watching my calories. So. I probably lost like two or three. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, the younger you are, the easier it is to process those processed foods. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're trying to get on a routine. And I went to back to work a few weeks ago, and I was only working part-time because um, things have been kind of sparse. Uh, but they had, they had, you know, more... Um, work for us so I added some more hours and now somebody's leaving so they wanted me to add more hours but I don't think I'm gonna do it um, I haven't been feeling well since I've been eating bad and, and hopefully eating better will make me feel better uh, but getting a routine you know since my schedule changed so much is is hard we we plan, we meal plan. I've had a, a weekly menu now for several weeks and, you know, that seems to be what works best for us. Uh, you want to go get me the, the meal plan? And, and we, you know, put in our apps. Mary uses a free one that's on her phone and she just puts her calories in. So she, you know, so she kind of eats what I do. So, you know, she knows she's eating well, but Samsung health. Yeah, Better it's, Samsung it's phone. through the Samsung app. We've got Samsung phones, Androids, but, uh, oh, I've got, see, I keep my recipes. So here's what my weekly meal plan looks like. And it's ever changing. See, I got white out and I've got little scribbles on here because, you know, some recipes will make more than I think. Or we'll split it up into different servings from what the recipe does. Um, I think in the beginning of this video, I'm going to put the uh, waffles that we made. So I had to do some remeasuring because it's a different measurement. Uh, but I like this. I got this off of Pinterest. And it, it was exactly what I needed. And... Um, so we use that and then I keep my recipes with with the weekly planner all pinned up on the refrigerator. And these are things that we're gonna make this week. And uh, you know, so that way it's simple. And I've got, um, you know, Pinterest. I'll do recipes off of there. And then um, I've got a really good cookbook that's uh, it's a, you want to go get me that Better Homes and Gardens cookbook? Mm -hmm. It's, it's on the bottom of that baker's cart. It's a dieter's cookbook. It says dieter's right on there. But, uh, 
you know, I, I'm a cookbook fanatic. <laughs> so, you know, I just find recipes, find good recipes. Um, when I went back to work, we had two potlucks. Uh, it was everybody's birthday and they kind of didn't do them for a while. See, here's the dieter's cookbook. It's a Better Homes and Gardens dieter cookbook. I don't know where you can you probably get it on Amazon or something. But all the recipes in here, you know, have all your nutritional information. And they're all low calorie. You know, see, 311 calories of serving, 250 calories of serving, you know, just tons of good recipes. Which is really good if you think about how, like, a lot of food that you get out is like 600 to 700 even 800 yeah. like all of your calories yeah we were surprised because yesterday i pulled out one of our favorite recipes and we made we made the recipe and it's a linguine now if you watched my sunday vlog the linguine was in there yesterday's vlog so you know you watch my regular vlogs i got cooking in there <laughs> if, if we don't have anything if we haven't been around town you know showing things i'll have cooking in the the regular vlogs and um, I made this linguine and um, snow pea, and it's got tons of vegetables in there. But uh, I looked at the calories, and it was 615 calories a serving. But it was four servings? Was it four or five? I don't know. Was, I don't remember. But, I said it was like four. But, we, but it's big. You know, it's a big pot of food. So a serving is real generous. So we figured out, you know, half the servings because we made something else. We made ramen salad with it. And then we had a half a serving of the ramen salad and, uh, and it came out to, you know, 450 calories and that's a good dinner. You know, um, my whole calorie count for yesterday was under 900 calories and I'm allowed 1200 a day. Uh, plus I did two hours of house cleaning yesterday and about killed myself. <laughs> so, so I put that down and this is another thing I like about the Noom app is I put my, my exercise down and you could put, you know, how strenuous it was, um, low, medium or, or high, and it will count your calories for the amount of exercise that you did. And it will add those calories onto your day so you're allowed that many more calories it, mine doesn't do but yeah. it does tell you like it, it tracks your steps mm -hmm. and so if you get um so many steps and stuff it'll tell you how many calories you burn from the steps you from the steps the day. so yeah. like if you burn an extra 100 calories you could be like oh well i can have like an extra snack and it won't make much of a difference right right so yeah a lot of apps will do that they'll, they'll take the calories but um yeah, so that so that's pretty good. I got cheat notes here, so I'm trying not to not to miss things, and I'm trying to do it fast because I don't want it to be a really long video, and it's already getting long. <laughs> you know, depending on your size and your activity level and everything, uh, just you know, count your calories and eat well. Uh, we, I know. The clean eating that we do, some people think of it as paleo, but we we don't, you know, paleo won't allow you. And I hate restrictive diets. They're just, you know, they people falter off of restrictive diets. I know what I can't eat, and uh, I stay away from it. So uh, when I started this. I was doing daily weigh-ins, you know, Noom has you weigh in daily, and I found out what was causing inflammation in my system and what wasn't. So, you know, with those daily weigh-ins, because if I had any kind of gluten, I was up like two pounds the next day. It was crazy. So it was really good in the beginning to weigh myself every single day, even though I thought, gosh, that is stupid. <laughs> you know, why don't you just weigh yourself once a week? But that really taught me something about the foods that I eat, that daily weigh-in. Um, so 
I want to talk one a little bit more about the the um, green, yellow, and red because those are foods. Your green foods are all you can eat, and you know for your calories for the day, I just keep eating those as much as you want. Uh, your yellow flu foods are restricted. Mine's restricted to four, 540 calories a day of the yellow foods. I usually go over that um, because I use recipes and um, I just, I use the app things that are similar on the app. Well, they all come up yellow because they're recipes and they've got things in there that are red foods and, you know, yellow foods. So, but the red foods um, are really limited. I'm, I'm only allowed 300 red food calories a day. And those are like your, um, your foods that are not nutritionally dense for the calories. Like nuts have a lot of calories. Um, granola has a lot of calories. And you're just, it's not, eating those is not going to control your appetite. Um, and then, and then you've got your, you know, sugary treat things. <laughs> but yeah, I try to stay within the yellow and stay away from the red. And, and that way I can go over on my yellow a little bit and it won't matter because I didn't have my red stuff. So, so that's something to think about. And We'll probably leave you with that for now, and we'll talk more about um, other things next week, and we'll check in with the weigh-in. I weigh myself on Monday, so I won't weigh myself until um, this video goes up. So this video will be up already, and so I'll log my my way in with you guys <laughs> I'm gonna keep myself accountable and I'm gonna put that video up here um, so that's actually gonna be kind of tied in to this one um, the accountable one and then the the video before this one Sunday I've got a couple of recipes so you'll want to go check out those I'll probably maybe tie in both of them um, to the back of this video but if you're here to see diet stuff welcome ask me questions and uh, I'll try to answer them I'm no expert I'm just this is my journey and you know I'm everybody's the same <laughs> we all do the same dumb things <laughs> so I've, I've been down this road many many times so uh, Give us a holler, ask questions, and we'll see you next week.